Alright, and welcome everyone. Um, this is just another video update, nothing really all that important. But yeah, uh, should I be doing an LP of Warhammer Total War? Um, it's all up to you guys, uh, if you all want. The units actually do look amazing, like for example these guys at Crypt or Horrors, holy crap. Be sure to join the fight yourself. Oh yeah, we'll join, all right. For example, these uh, grave guards—they look awesome as hell. Um, so yeah. Now, um, I did play as a corn faction, or however the hell you call them. Um, they actually. Um, uh, I don't really like them because you actually have to like Remember, keep moving. As you, fight, that help and advice is available you also at actually have these bats, uh, which are actually great and all. They look awesome. You also can actually apparently ride a dragon in this game, uh, which is in my books always actually great. <laughs> to battle, join the fray. Oh, Show yes. them the double we'll time once again, Stoke Sylvania. Oh yeah, we'll fight all right. No worries about that, man. They also actually have magic and all that kind of uh, stuff. Now I will actually uh, show you guys every faction that is in the game with uh, special units and all that. Even these skeletons look amazing. Some of them even are missing a uh, piece of the skull. So yeah, and that's basically just my cat going down. It always actually appears to be picking the wrong places to jump off. But yeah, um, it actually looks great. Oh, did you guys see that smash he did? Oh my god. I can't just imagine uh, a hero like that just riding a dragon. And here we have apparently another hero riding in. Oh! The Witch King. A uh, Witch King apparently. Holy crap. He just, he just decimated these. Units, holy crap! Oh my god! Oh yeah, I'm definitely I'm going to have to play a solo campaign of uh, the vampires because I really do wonder how they actually uh, play. Yeah, uh, should I be playing an LP of this game? Uh, tell me down in the comments below. As the um, as the factions fo go, uh, you have the goblin, uh, yeah, gob no, no, the orcs, uh, the vampires, which are basically these guys, and you have the uh, dwarves and the emperor. The Emperor Empire or something like that. Uh, so yeah. They are now you also actually have magic in this game, uh, which is awesome. <laughs> I really do. I love the magic in this game. <laughs> For example, I actually managed to play with someone that actually has a fireball spell, and oh my god, that was so fun. But now magic isn't really exactly as OP as you think it would. It can actually turn a battle into your favor dramatically, but uh, you can't keep spamming the hell out of it. You actually have a little pool of mana down here, which you actually can use. Yeah. See, we only have uh, 30 uh, power uh, winds of magic, apparently. That's what it's called. Uh, let's just go immediately up to the uh, capturing point. But yeah, uh, you only can actually do use, uh, you have a power of 30 and every spell actually has a different amount it costs, like this one, Gaze of Nagash only costs like 7, while well, this one costs 6, one more. Cooldown of Gaze of Nagash is uh, of course a lot higher. Uh, let's cast it down here, nice away from our Vargov. It's a little, nice little beast. Bang! Holy crap. Oh, alright. Alright, 
Alright, our Vargo is our little pet is in trouble. Uh, um, so far things are actually looking really great. Uh, oh, look, here we have the Lich the Witch King again coming in from behind on his uh, steed. But yeah, you can also actually rename every, almost everything actually, I believe, in this game. Um, of, of the heroes, of course, uh, except of the faction leaders like Manfred, I believe. He actually remains uh, the same. Now, of course, the magic do re does recharge. Uh, this one actually a lot faster because it's actually basically just a tutorial fight. Uh, a little introduction, fight, all that stuff. Alright, you are actually... yeah, alright. Alright, there we go. We have the, that Witch King going in. Let's just real fast forward this uh, game. And here we have some Black Knights. Let's attack them and let's cast immediately our... On the Brave Guard, maybe? I'd rather actually have it. Oh, here we go. Um, oh yeah, it's control. Uh, here we go, let's attack those guys and you are going to cast that. That should be nice. Now, of course, the Virgolf is still going to stay. Oh my god, these allies. Let them come to us, turn around, and let us engage! Oh, look at my lovely little petty pet. No, so far the greatest is, in my eyes, the, uh, the fireball dude. <laughs> he was awesome. But yeah, um... I'll show you guys the faction list uh, right after this fight. Again, sorry guys, I didn't upload anything, I believe, on yesterday. reason for that was actually uh, I wasn't really at home. By the time I actually came back, I was really as tired as shit, so I basically went to bed a bit immediately to get some sleep. So yeah. Victory! Yeah, I have to say the graphics looks looks great. Uh, not sure on what on what the graphics actually I'm running them on, um, but yeah. Now I'll be quitting this campaign really soon, and I'll show you guys all the factions. So yeah. But yeah, the actually I'm also I'm using a different recording software because the this the one that I actually use can't find it for something weird. Yeah, basically it happens also sometimes with the um, uh, um, the Swotor uh, that apparently can't find it while it's actually still running, great running and all. And I of course my voice, but not uh, my screen. So yeah, uh, yeah, you can go now. I'll be going too. Now we have the Empire, the Dwarves, the Greenskins, the Vampire Counts, Warrior of Chaos, I won't be playing them because they actually don't have any settlement, they are basically a horde and they just go from one place to another one, raiding, pillaging, uh, so yeah. Now every uh, faction has uh, two heroes so far, uh, Emperor Karl Franz. Um, which he can actually unlock Deathclaw, a unique Griffin mount Cable of Flight and Ferocious Combat. Um, then we have Balthazar Geld, a uh, powerful lore metal wizard, can unlock a flying Pegasus mount. Uh, he starts out with Outriders, Great Swords, Mortars, and the Emperor, Karl Franz, starts out with Halberdiers, Handgunners, and Reichsguard. Now, if you all want to read the descriptions, you can actually just pause a bit and read them. If you all really want to. Now the dwarves, they actually start out with uh, Torium Grudgebearer, which actually doesn't really unlock anything awesome, 
but they do have the, the, but he does start out with a grudge thrower uh, quarrel missiles and hammers now the grudge thrower is a catapult quarrels are basically what I can see crossbows and hammers are basically yeah two-hand giant hammers apparently he oh all right that was uh, nice at first I was actually thinking he would I ride it something else now with ungrim iron fist he started out with thunderers and basically our guns Slayers, Axe Infantry, and Longbeards. If you all guys want to read the description, again, pause the bit right now. And same as for the faction leader. Now, on to the Greenskins. The Greenskins, uh, he, Grimmorg, Ironhide, has a unique uh, immortal, immortal, Immortals banner, which buffs us a unit of Black Orcs in his army. He starts with Black Orcs, Orc Boar boar Boys, Doom Diver Catapults. If you all want to read the description down below, you can just pause the vid and again someone's yanking their horn. Next we have Azog the Slaughterer, which actually does look awesome with uh, his eyes and everything. He can actually unlock a Wyvern mount uh, and can unlock yeah, Skull Muncha, a unique flying wyvern mount. Uh, he starts out with Forest Goblin Spiders, Orc Big Uns, Goblin Archers. Uh, if you guys all want to read the description, can, you guys can all pause a bit right now. And again for this one. Next up we have the Vampire Counts, which currently exists of Manfred von Karstein, the one you actually currently saw in the fight. Uh, he's, a, he's a faction leader, powerful melee fighter, leader and wizard, has access to both lore of vampires and lore of death. He starts out with the Varkov, flying bats and crypt goals. Next up we have Hemrick Kemmler. He is a powerful wizard, a wizard too apparently. He is a master of lore of vampires, so only that. I believe he can actually go deeper in the lore of vampires than uh, Manfred von Karstein. He, he starts out with Hex Raids, which basically are Cavalry, Crane Raids, Sight, Infantry, and Dire Wolves. If you guys all want to read the descriptions, you guys can all pause it right now. And that's it. That Those are the factions you guys all can actually ch pick one from. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys the little cinematics from uh, these little intros. Um, yeah, now the uh, vampire counts do play different than the green skins a little bit because they basically uh, crumble instead of routing, so basically the units will die and basically instead of uh, running away. So I believe chance is not really all that big, of man many units will. Uh, return from uh, a battle uh, casualties are automatically raised from the dead post battle even in defeat oh, alright so yeah okay okay that's fine that's great um, so yeah I hope you guys will actually are exci as excited as I am um, if I'm going to uh, stop an LP, not to really stop it, move it, then it'll probably be Swotor, uh, most of you guys don't really watch that LP for, um, so yeah. But yeah, I have to say the graphics and all that in this game looks awesome. And maybe we can get it, yeah, there it is, there's the Wyvern. I have to say those guys look awesome. And we have a spider apparently, and we have the young dwarves. This is the flying of those uh, helicopter thingies. Uh. Of course, a king uh, on his throne reading a giant golden book. Uh. We have apparently some uh, green skins versus some dwarves, dwarven catapults against uh, vampires. And of course, we have the empire, uh, which do look actually a little bit great, uh, awesome, and all that. Especially like flying uh, Pegasus. Of 
so yeah if you guys all want to see an LP of this game um, tell me down in the comments below I also won't be recording anything today because I really actually want to play a little bit of uh, these guys of uh, Warhammer Total War so there we have a Pegasus, some magic uh, fireballs. The fireballs do are actually awesome. So I hope you guys will actually enjoy it and I'll see you guys all um, tomorrow when I actually definitely am going to record something for you guys. So yeah, stay tuned.